to have my wife maybe say just a word and then I'm going to take over. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's an honor to be here. It's such a great joy to be here. The Bible says that I was glad when they told me, let's go in the presence of God. Let's go in the house of God. We have a special relationship with this house. Because not only we are brothers and sisters, but we have been working together since we were international pastors at Victory Christian Center. Victory Christian Center are international pastor. So I know a lot of you, you were part of the ministry, the Burmese church that was birthed while we were at the uh, Victory Church. Victory Church, Tungton, no teto. And I also want to honor the leadership of this house, Pastor Kamkai and Pastor Mary. Pastor Kamkai and Pastor Mary, and yes, you can clap for them, for your pastors. Mm. Those are people that are really sold out to God. We know the heart that they carry for the people of Burma. And we want to honor the work that the Lord is doing through them in this house. And I know also that they have left a lot of opportunity to work for the secular world, but they decided to give it all for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of you. And I feel also in my heart just to honor the congregation because the Bible said that planted in the house of God, you will flourish. Planted in the house of God, you will be blessed. You will be, you will have your breakthrough. As you are serving God, as you are serving the leadership of this house, I pray that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. And we didn't come by ourselves. We came with our dear friend from Rwanda. He's a student at ORU doing his uh, PhD doctorate in education leadership. His name is Gakuba. You can stand and they can clap for him. And we love you so much. I'm not going to preach. And we love you so much. I'm not going to preach. We have a preacher here. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord guide you. And may the Lord have his mighty hands upon you. Hallelujah. You know, these stairs, you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So glad to be back here. Mm. And, and we're really grateful to Pastor Kamkai and Pastor Mary. Pastor Kamkai and Pastor Mary, over the years, they've been really a blessing. As my wife said when I was the international pastor at Victory. We worked together. When, when we had international events. We had so many, so many nations the community from Myanmar was always amazing. Uh, I, I remember the food that they were bringing. I remember the noodles. It was always amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we praise God. We are grateful. And as they said, we are on our way going back to Rwanda. 
We felt the call of God that we need to go back there. And we feel the Lord is laying upon our heart to start a church there and, and to do a lot of things, Bible school, to have a um, kind of a dream center, pretty much what you see at Victory. We really feel a burden to have it at, at, in Rwanda. Rwanda, Paul P. Pudding, Le Sang Zong Panding, and Tua Kowin Sap Nang Yat Ne Kahi Manuna, Tua Akilo Mama. Maybe some of you know the story of Rwanda about the genocide. There was a genocide in '94. Over a million people died. Kum tul khat zakwale som kwale li na million ma teng hilo na million tampitak sihi Rwanda. And so you have some people who still have the wounds and the, the hurts in their hearts. So we, feel, so we feel the burden, we feel the Lord calling us to go back and be able to be instruments in his hands. To bring healing and to let him flow through us and, and, and move among his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll go straight to the message right now. Yes, message. I'm going to read our main text and then we're going to move from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, our main text is Matthew, Matthew chapter 16. Hopefully, uh, they have the text. We're going to read from verse 13 to verse 17. Matthew chapter 16 from verse 13 to verse 17. Uh, they can put it on the screen uh, if possible. Okay, good. So the Bible says, When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? I don't know if I'll, I'll read the whole text and then yeah, my brother will, will read. Okay. So they say, <laughs> Some <laughs> say <laughs> John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And this is the question this morning. No, then, Keikwa, Kahi, ah. Who do you say that I am? Mm. Someone, someone Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered, Jesus answered and said to him, Be, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. Simon, Simon Peter Nangpen. You know, Jesus asked them a question. And today I believe the question is asked even in the church. What do people say that I am? We are celebrating Christmas. People are getting ready for Christmas. People are getting ready to celebrate. People are, are having, people are getting ready to have a party. And Jesus asks, what do people say that I am? You know, it's easy to go with everyone. It's easy to go with the crowd. It's easy to go with what everyone is saying. But then Jesus turned to them. And said, who do you say that I am? You know, this morning I want to share about worship. Worship is personal. You know, worship is more than a song. Even the worship can be expressed through, uh, through songs. 
Even though worship can be expressed through songs. Worship is more than an, an a feeling. A feeling. Worship is more than just doing things like everyone else. Worship is a posture. Is biang nai chi pen hi akilang thei lim Is the posture of your heart towards God. Nangi nalung tang nalung tim nalung tong pana na biang na pasian na biang nai. Worship is not someone something that that someone tells you do A B C D and then you worship. Biang nai chi pen mi khatin. A, B, C, D, Hin, Ong Chi Pen, Tua Biang Na Hilohi. Worship is your heart that responds to God. Biang Na Pen, Nalung Tanga, Pasianto, Na na response Na, Na San King, Na Don King Na Hi. Jesus was speaking to a Samaritan woman. Zay Su Pen, Samarin Numeto, Akiho Lai. And I'm sure you remember the story. The woman was saying, you, you Jews people, you say we have to worship in Jerusalem. No, no Jews there in Jerusalem. We, we say that we have to worship at the mountain. But Jesus told her, woman, woman, woman. The time has come. And it is now. And the Father is looking for true worshippers. Those who worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is looking for worshippers. Who respond to God with the attitude of their heart. Pasian i don king na pasian i ilung simtong pana pasian i san king i san king na pen pasian tua de. Who go beyond their brain? Excuse me. They go beyond their brain. Oh, angai sun nau tua pen kela pas pasian biak na. They go with their heart. Alung simu alung to alung tang to pai to he biak na. There was a blind man in the Bible. And he was healed by Jesus. And the Pharisees tried to convince him that Jesus is not a good man. But Jesus said, give glory to God. That man is not from God. But the blind man said this. He said, I don't know much about theology. I don't know all the protocols. What I know, I was blind, now I can see. I worship him. My brother told us he, he almost died. My brother here. Today we could be talking about another story. Today we could have been saying that we knew a brother, we knew someone, and then today is dead. Tuni na mi tuam tuam zong kite dinga ayang ama pen asihi chin zong kisa dinghi. He is alive and he know it's the hand of God. Ama pen tuni na dam kikhi pasiani na ama hut sunga ama kem he. This is what I'm talking about. Tuni na he pen the story he. Worship is your heart responding to God. Worship is your heart responding to your Creator. It's beyond protocol. 
It's beyond tradition. You know, we are hearing the story. But my brother here, he knows those moments where he was few seconds close to death. She dona, she na lim guam atot lai tem chile kina sab lai zong isai he. Each one of us here has a testimony. Right here, you are living testimony. Tu ni na hilai mu na om te tam pita kin zong te chi tam pita nei ding hui te. That blind man said, "I don't know about theology." Tu a mit to lai sem thoi imu ba bang na tu a pai na theology tam pita pasien thu pasien kam mal tam pita a thei zong itu an ken. I was sitting on the street. I was a beggar. No one cared about me. He opened my, my eyes. He delivered me. He set me free. I worship him. Today we praise Jesus because we know the story. We know he went to the cross. He died for our sins. Ama pen eight ya dinga asi ji zong the price for our deliverance. Ama na aman pekin zong hi eight ya suat tang nang ina. But over two thousand years ago, kum tul ni wal peka tang tu hi. When Jesus was a small baby, ama Jesus pen nau ngai kong suak hi. Three wise men, tuan mi pil tum tiang payu hi. They came from the east. Ama pen pen suat lam pan nau payu hi. They knew in their heart we are going to find the king and worship him. Today the world has made Christmas about toys. About gifts. But the greatest gift is Jesus Christ sent from heaven. I hang in a let song to be mama pen Jesus Christ. Those three wise men travel for 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 days. To ami pilte from sualam panang pa ina nibang zayam tak ong ka eh ong kwal sinu. Their heart, their heart was posture. They knew we are going to worship the king. Alung simtong wa kan sao hi amal tena zaysu muak di hi chipen tay tin tenu hi. When they got to Jerusalem. They made a lot of noise. They said, where is the king who was born? Because we have come to worship him. Long story short, eventually they found the baby Jesus. They didn't care that it was a baby. This is the King of Kings. This is the Lord of Lords. This is the Son of the Living God. He pen kumpi te kumpi lal te lal mang te mang. Mary couldn't understand. Marina, wise men. Amau mi pil te pen. They were very educated. Amau then apil ma ma siam ma ma. They forget all the education. When you face God, when you face divinity, when you face God, you forget all your degrees. In heaven, the Bible says the 24 elders, the, tw the four living creatures, they forget their crown, they throw it on the floor, they bow down and say, He is Lord. Mm. Hey, hey. Amen. You see, the world and the devil are fighting for your worship. You remember when Jesus was tempted by the devil? The Bible says the devil showed him all the glory of the world. He said, if you worship me, if you bow down, I'll give you all things. Amen. 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 Amen.
do i mang pana nong bia ka kamai nong kul le hi te khem pe ong pading ka hi hi na chi hi but jesus says behind me satan because you have only to worship god i hang zai sun bang chi dong hiam chi le nap le dung pa sian bek ma na pading hi na chi get behind me satan chi the world is trying to pull from you worship le dung ina nang pen na biak na pa na ong la ong sap hiak som hi but you have to understand I hang in a na pok ding thu khatong. That your posture, the posture of your heart has to stay towards God. Nang pen na din namuna stand firm towards God. Nang pen pasiana ding a. The Bible says you have to love Man God. Man ding hite. Love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength. Lai siang thau ina na leit na pasian mama na lung simtong panina na iding hi na chi na ha na teng tojong na iding hi na chi. Your heart posture has to be. Always looking at God as with worship. Do I mean a passion? It ba ibiak na pen passion to kizoma ibiak to tungding he. Two things that the worship does. Biak na iti namni om he. One it positions you towards God. Na poson pen na om dan pen passion to kizop ding he. The Bible says, "Be still and know that I am God." Lai siang thau na. Om hid hiarin pasian kahit lampaokin si. As we go through life, a lot of things take our attention. Ah, leitu nga nang nang hi ang bangsi dia attention na attention si mai ni mo nang nang di lam hi ding in leitu ina ang 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 zol zol ding hi. And sometimes we lose focus that God is God. Had vei vei ite na ifokas ang mano lo ina pasian na hi lam zong. Pasian, oh mahi lam song pong no lo kadek dek piyal hiang. But the Bible says, be still. I hang lai siang thau na om hi thia tin la. Yes, be still and know that I am God. Pasian kahi lam pong in na chi. And also the Bible says in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. Daniel som le, som le khat na aneo som thum le ni na lai siang thau ni bang na gen hi. It says the people. Who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Pasian apoga, pasian atay tena na lamdang le at atuka om tepen ong pol kading huye, ong kui kading huye na chi. The people who know their God shall do exploits. Pasian apoga na mite poglo, mite thaylo tepen kui kagbanga. Kuai kag bang aku ikhdiing hui, orang cini ngai. That's worship. Tua pen biang nai. That's the attitude of your heart, the posture of your heart. Tua pen nalung sim nalung tong amanat hui. Worship positions you. Biang na position, biang na man takin naom hiam nalung sim. The second thing is that worship brings God in your in your reality. Ani na biang nai na pasian pen. Nangi kianga ongkai naihi. Because remember the Bible says God is looking for true worshippers. Ayang lai siang tuan again biar pasianina biang nama tak tak azonghi. If you are worshipper, God will find you. Nang penin pasian na biaka lungsim mantak tu na biak le pasian ongzong. No matter where you are, koi mun koi mun na ompiyal zongida. Even if they they hide you in the lions den. Ah. Sahang, sahang, sahang. Humpi, how sorry. Humpi om namun buka ongki koi lezong. Even if they hide you in the furnace of fire, I hang ina may kuang na kazong ongki koi hihihihal lezong. When you are a worshipper, when your heart is set on God, nang pen pasian anung ta pasian dik tak na biaga hi nagle. God will find you. The Bible says that one day, lai siang thon na gen he ni khat ni te. Paul and Silas were were in the city. Paul and Silas been preaching the gospel in the city. Amal te penin gupchen na thu tang ko lai he. You know what happened? They were arrested, they were beaten, and they were thrown in the dungeon. Amal te ben matinom wa thong sunga kia kina omu he. No connection. No one knows them. Amal tepen tuan muna om si kuaman teh tuan lohi. They were in the dungeon, which means underground. It was dark and it was it was filthy. 
ama om na pen mial ma mai na thong song hi a aki hwai ma ma anam sama ma mun song hi ding hi the sewage of the city was passing down there ama te pen ina eh a excuse me the sewage or the dirt of the city was passing underground ama eh ya i an banga sewage ti mo ni neng pai na song tua mun a om ding hi it was dark they couldn't see anything Myanmar mai na mau bang ma khua mu lo ding ni ko mu na mau te pen ki hen hi they beat them with rods mau te pen mat le hen hen in omu hi they were in pain i hang mau te pen pasian e thu ngen hi they were in pain oh mau te pen hak san na tam pi ta kak na thua ko hi but let me tell you no one can can lock your heart i hang kong gen ding hi Nalung tang pen kwa mana eh bang chi ding eh ong khak kan zo lo ding hi if you are a worshiper nang pen pasian bia na hi nak le no one can stop you from worshiping kwa mai nong khak kan thei lo ding hi na biang na pen no devil in hell amen no devil in hell can stop you from worshiping hey hey may dilin zong ong khak kan thei lo zo ding hi the bible says at midnight lai sang thoi na zan kim lai takina in pain in suffering amau te pen hak san na gen thai na thua kwa paul and silas started singing hallelujah paul and silas tena amau tena pasian biao hi hallelujah how great is our god amen sing with me how great kay tong sau na Is our God? I think the same and song all is also. Is Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, Hallelujah! Great, praise Jesus. So their hearts started to worship. About their passion, na biawi. It's a posture. It's a posture of your heart. To appear a man, taka alignment. Yeah. The Bible says. A heart pen alignment ball here. The Bible says they began to worship, they began to sing, and the prisoners could hear them singing. I'm out there now, tongues of praise and worship. Nay, you hear. Amen. I feel like worshiping right now. Amen. I'm telling you, when you are truly worshiping, when your heart is set on God, people will feel, no, this guy is in love. Uh huh. Nalung tam aman nagle. Amen. Pasiento nakitjob na ahoy nagle. No matter what. Mm. That blind man, it was not theory. He said, "Guys, you guys don't know where I'm coming from. My brother here can tell you. He knows." Wa mit to pa pen zong mit to hinga kwa mu thei hi chi bek thei hi isang gampan zong dena ate chipan na zong isahi. And you've been there. You've been there. You have your testimony. Amal nang zong tua mu na tua mu na na te chipan na tampi tak zong na na phok thak hi te. And the Bible says they began to sing, they began to worship, they began to lift up the name of God. Lai siang thoi na amau te pe ni da pasian bi ai na pasian phan na biang na 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 nei ton tung hi na chi. And the Bible says God is looking for true worshipers, those who worship Him in spirit and in truth. Lai siang thoi na pasian ni na kei thudik thuma na ong be ding a zong hi na chi. And now guess what happens when God comes on the scene. Not come guess on what happens when God comes on the scene. When God appears. Uh-huh. Okay. Tu i pia pasian. Yes, when God comes on the scene, things change. Okay. Tu i pia zei suang pai chiang ina na khem peu dai hi nai naom hi. And when the presence of God appeared in that place, Pasian om na tua huna tua mun lian om chiang ina. The Bible says the foundations of the prison were shaken. Tua lai siang thoi na tua bang chi dia a foundation pen giling hi na chi hi. There was an earthquake. Tua mun na zin ling hong oma. All the doors went open. Tua 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 chiang ina a kong hak ten song ki hong hi. All the chains fell. I'm out taking a na si kau te zong kitan gob he. The glory of the Lord was manifested in that place. Pasian tupi na tua huna kilang he. Because true worshippers were there. Ay ha bang hang yam chile. I'm out te pen. I'm an tak tak 
But we have to conscience that we have to be conscious of the reality that this is what the devil is after. The devil will do everything to stop your heart to have that posture of worship. I want to speak quickly about four things that can help you. Some of the things that can, 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 can quench that worship spirit. Because I want to push you this morning to move to a higher level in your worship. Step up. I want you to go from where you are to move higher. You know the Apostle Paul was passionate about Jesus. Paul Towards the end of his life. He made a statement. He made a statement. He said, he said, he said, he said forgetting everything. I am pressing. I'm running after Jesus. As if I don't know him. He had experiences with Jesus. But at the end of his life, he was still running after Jesus. So we have to be careful what cripples our heart in that posture of adoration. When, when, one thing is sin. One is th sin. Sin can quench that, that attitude of, of worship. Because when you sin, it's almost like a cover is being put on your heart and stops you from connecting with God. You feel like running away from God. That is why sin is not an advantage. Sin cripples you. The second thing I want to mention is unforgiveness. Let me tell you, people will hurt you in this world. People will betray you. People will do wrong things against you. But careful with your heart. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, guard your heart above all else. Keep your heart, Keep your heart above all else. Because out of it flows the issues of life. One of the things you have to guard up against is unforgiveness. Someone said somewhere that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and thinking that your enemy is going to die. You are drinking poison and say he is going to die. And you are drinking poison. You say he's going to die. You are the one who's choking. You are the one who's choking. Because 
let go let go let go to apen na ngai dam thei lo na pen hi bang ina mai mang sakin i know it's not easy i know it's painful but give it to god give it to god i hang hak salwa hi ngai dam thei lo chi pen hak sama mai i hang patient tunga jesus kian genin jesus kian genin release people forgive them let go eh ma te pen ngai dam main kha khe ngai dam na sua khe in kha khe in because you don't want to mess up your heart bang hang hi mi chi le atu na ngai dam thei lo nain nang pen ong su sia sia hi the third thing is ungratefulness to another khat atum na pen lungdam thei lo na being ungrateful forgetting what the lord has done for you the green stocky bang he chine the green story na thei ya christmas a to bang chi dia mi ngai dam thei lo na i'm talking about the greens so that they will understand go ahead so it it's going to mess up the state of your heart it's going to mess up the state of your heart ha ha to pen ina na lungdam thei lo na pen ina nang pen na lung tang David said it himself. My soul bless the Lord and forget not all His benefits. David in Hebrew in that again he kanun tang na o to pa pa to in la ama kapat tuam pina kempel manghil ken na nati. I don't care what God has done for you. Maybe you are the CEO of the biggest company in the world. Pas yani na nang pen na sem na ulian pen pen CEO na ipian song in keep your posture of worship nalung tang pen patient to amanding to be he take your crown and give it at his throne he is worthy he is the only one who deserves the praise nalu hu pen na kham lu hu pen ko khian la ama patient bi in la king he was already king and one time Excuse me. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. David was a king and one day you remember he almost danced almost naked eh david pen kumpia hi laina ama pen nikhat lob loina wok tang dek phial in alarm hi he just had the effort ama pen the, the priest clothes he, just like the robe you just yes. like a ama pen ina sia e e kumpi pon te sil hi he his wife said how can you do this you are a king how can you dance like azina bang jira nang kumpi ya hi banga omong na hiam na chi he said woman you don't know what god has done in my life ama na you know you have to remember you have to remember you have to remember where god took you from remember 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 david knew that even when my father didn't Remember me, David. In Kapana, on Paul Kelezong, that's it. The prophet came and said, "Don't you have another son? Do you have to remind your dad about the son? Come, son, pana. Tadang ni lo nehiam, ati Paul ke. He took all his sons, all of them passed. They say maybe it's one of them, and then no one. The prophet said it's none of these people. He said, "Don't you have another son? Can you remind your dad that you exist?" David David competing a a bang chi dia aki sap chi lai amo ta dang a u te eliap te elu te ong pai u a ame loi pi piong pai u he was the david boy hold on he was i'm not done yet to hit the to hit the day to hit the david in a david kun tu nai lo hi amen ta ta dang ni lo ni yam chi tu ta khat pen gam la ka tu ching hi na chi Thank you, Jesus. He was a small boy behind the sheep. Everyone forgot about him. Ama pen tu ching mai mai hi apan song muang ma ma lo hi. There's a God in heaven who knows you. There's a God in heaven who knows you. Vana pasian nang ong po om hi. Hallelujah. Ama nang ong thei om hi. That is why worship is personal. Tu aman ina biang nai chi pen mimal kurai toki sai. Worship is personal. Biang na pen mimal toki sai ma mai. Jesus asked them, "Who do you say that I am? You, you, you." Jesus na no kuwa kahiwa chit nong thewa nang kuwa kahiwa chit nong thea na chit te te. 
When you have a grateful heart, you remember, you remember, and your heart stays in the right worship posture. Long sim man, long sim nob na na nele tua pen na na biang na aman pen nang apog den ding hite bang bang apiang zongin. One last thing I want to mention that the devil uses to quench that spirit of worship. Atom na kagen nob pen doi mang pana tua na biang na man pen. It's the busyness of life. You came here in America. America don't pay. With the attitude of worship. America don't pay. Chung ina na lung siman tak to pasien biang na to don't pay. You get here. They tell you, they tell you, brother, this is America. You have to look for money. Monday busy. Monday ni piko vaksyang buai sil. Ah, ni ni nazong buai. Wednesday busy. Ni lai ni nazong buai. Thursday busy. Thursday nazong buai lai. Friday busy. Friday nazong buai lai. Saturday busy. Sunday nazong buai lai. Sunday busy. Sunday ni piko nazong buai lai. You wake up in the morning, you say thank you Jesus. Oh. Before you know it, your heart is becoming cold, and cold, and cold, and cold. I hang na kopong mai na na lung tang pasianto na biang na pen ong ong dau de de di. And when we are worshiping, you are just saying thank you God, thank you God. Oh, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Ah, tuo huti bang huna na om chang na thank you God, thank you God. Back chi chi hit that chi. But you know wait when 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 you were almost dying, you know when you almost I don't know whatever happened in your life. Ay hang hak sat huna chinat na zonghal na na tuo hun chiang ina. Worship is the posture and the attitude of the heart. Pasien biang na pen lung siman to pasien biang na hici nong pok kedinga. Jesus spoke twice. Zai sudah ni wei nak yen he. And even more, more, more other places in Matthew chapter twenty-four. Mata som di leli na. It says the 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 love of many will draw cold. Hey, eh, mitam tak tena kina ong dau ding he nana chi. Because of trials, tribulation, things that people go through. Hey, up na hanga hak sanat yen he na eh ong om tau tau chiang he na. In the book of Revelation. Talking to one church. Talking to one church. Oh, tua sabtu am Paul pihak tak? Jesus said this. Jesus na hibang nak kiri. He said one thing I have against you. Ayang tu kah tak kong mau boleh? You have forsaken your first love. Nai nama sa na top san jahkina. He said repent. Tua mana nak kisikin lah? Repent. Kisikin lah. Repent means turn, turn completely around. Kisik naik cipen, turn around he. Recognize where you have lost your first love. Naik nama sa, na top san pen, nak ipok ding, topi he. And take time to get back where you need to be. Tua, naik nama, nama, naik nama sa, na top san pen, to bang cile. Because things will happen in life. But don't let the things of life pull away from you your worship. Don't let money hold you. Remember Jesus met a young rich man. That boy was excited to meet Jesus and Jesus said, okay, he said, I want to follow you, I want to do what you're asking me. You remember that story, Jesus said, go sell everything and come follow me. And remember that story, the Bible says that man became so sad he turned away and left Jesus. That doesn't mean that Jesus is against us being rich. But Jesus knew that the, what is holding the heart of that man is, is money. 
ai hang ina jesu na tua tang wal hausa alung tanga bang pen thupi zak zo hiam chi pen jesu mulwa he you have to be honest with yourself nang pen nang le nang na ki thuman ding thupi hi when last did you cry in the presence of god when last did you cry in the Bang presence of God? Tu apan ba hun pai sa Jesus mai naka khia ngau ngau bang chi khiam. Tears of joy. Lungdam na to khi tui na luan na bang chi khiam. Tears of gratefulness. Lungdam luan na to khi tui na luan na bang chi khiam. Tears of coming from facing death and you know oh God God thank you thank you thank you God. Si nalim huan na to ta hak san na na to pa sian hong hut khia ka na lung dam na khi tui na luan na bang chi khiam Check your heart and see where you are right now Na lung tang kien phain la koi mu na na dinga chi pen na na kien chian This is the cry of David the king David Tua pen kum pi David in tua bang hun na na tua khai When he fell into sin ama pen mo na hi khak lai na The prophet came and spoke to him Kam sang na then ong pai na kum pi David ong mai tua hi. He didn't justify himself. Ama pen ama ale ma kitung hello. He didn't say you see I'm a king ah you I was busy these are things that happen. Kum pi eh kam sang na then kianga kai pen kum pi kai na na chilo hi. The Bible says David fell on the floor. Lai siang thoi na David pen ki niam pa hi. And hear some of the prayer some of its cry. Here, uh, David ka na alungdam na atum na atum. Maybe my brother will just translate if he, you can translate following me. Yes. David says this: Create in me a clean heart. David ina kalung sim ang suksiang tau sa kin nati. He said, Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Kahapen ong dosu atakin kei sunga nachi he said god do not cast me away from your presence amana david na to pao nangom na panina ong 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 son heken he said do not take your holy spirit from me this is the cry of the worship na khasiang ho ke ya om pe dong lak mang sakin nachi he said restore to me the joy of your salvation Hodam na kamu pen kaya ong 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 ko ikin nati. And uphold me by your generous spirit. Naka ina kay pen ong lam sangin nati. He was a king. Ama pen kumpi. He had the money. Ama pen sumle pa. He had the entertainment. Ama pen in no sak na no bon na tampita zong nay. If I lose God, I lose everything. I hang. Pasian katan le, pasian kasub le, na kempo asum hingji at hay tinten hi. He didn't go for protocol and say, okay, we are going to make a good prayer. Father God, you know, I am the king. Sorry, I apologize. No, the Bible says he fell on the floor. Ija tungen na mai mai to kay pen kumbi kay to pang mai sa kin natilo hi. He's a king. He just fell on the floor. Ama pen kumbi ang ida kikibuhi. God, God, God. God. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me, 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 God. Don't take Nathan in David anut siat siang ina oh tu pa si mai mai lohi. And this is where God is calling us all back. Tu apen he pen pasian ina etiung sabkik nahi. Let's stand on our feet right now. If I could ding ni. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I'll ask the worship team. Maybe my brother can play the keyboard. And while we're in this attitude of, of worship, I want you to bow your head, close your eyes right now, and, and I want you to make it personal right now. I want you to remember where God has taken you from. Amen. I want you to remember where God has taken you from. Don't worry, he's, he's worshiping.
worshiping God in his way. Focus on God right now. Do takina pasian mangtu phangai sunni. Remember where God has taken you from. Hmm. Hok kikin koi muna pan pasian hilai munung pua kiam. I want to give you an opportunity this 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 afternoon or this morning. Do honi na eh honi lem khat lanuam hi ha. To set your heart afresh. Khatna pasian. The Bible says, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Lai siang thoi na eh ao khum tua na zak le na lung tang khau sak ke. The Lord is calling you right now. You might be here this morning. Maybe for you, you have never surrendered your life to Jesus. If you are honest, if you are honest with yourself, Jesus is not fully Lord over your life. Nang le nang kitel cian zote. I want to give you this opportunity this morning to give Him your life. He says, I stand at the door of your heart. If you, if you hear my voice and you open your heart, I will come in and be with you. This morning, you can respond to the Lord. I'm telling you the things of this world are just temporary. Before you know it, life is like a vapor. Before you know it, everything will pass. The only assurance you have is to hang on on Jesus. I hang. I poke the inkhat pen. Jesus Christ hang in a long time. Who's the rock of ages? So if you are here this morning, I want to give you this opportunity. Thank you, my sister, for coming. And I want to give this opportunity to anyone else. Just when I will ask you, you can just come forward while I'm talking. Do I come in line? Line my hands on patient on loan. Let on pain. Am I not on pain? On kia pain. And anyone else also, you know, your heart has grown cold. Your heart has grown cold. Your heart has become cold. Yeah, ni kan ni ceng na pasien biak na na lung tang pen ong dau tehi. You you don't worship the way you used to worship. Eh, ni danga pasien mai na lung dam na bang na tu tu ni na lung dam no lo na hi le song. I want to invite you also to come forward. Amai le mong pain tu ni na. I want to give you an opportunity to reset yourself. I told you that the, the Apostle Paul towards the end of his life Paul, at the end of his life the Apostle Paul at the end of his life he said this he said forgetting everything he's saying I set my heart for Jesus Today you can reset your heart. Tunina nang penin nalung tang to pasiana kisop na. Remember we don't do this. We don't do this by our own strength. We don't do this by our own strength. He pen e mahan na hello he. The Bible says it is not by might nor by power but by my spirit. Lai siang thau na e han na hello na e thile thai na zong hello na. I want, I want you to invite you to come forward. The Bible says, "They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength." We are going to be worshiping. And I'll give you an opportunity to come forward. Don't look at the crowd. Remember, this is personal. Just with one chorus or two, just lead us in worship. And let your heart be reset. Let your heart be reset. Let your heart be reset.